Well, hello and welcome to my backyard. It's a beautiful day, it's snowing, and I wanted to give a little video on how I love enjoying my jacuzzi, which I've had for four or five years now. But this is what I do, and I was gonna share with other people because it works so good for me. So what you wanna do is come out at night, best time is coming out at night, um, have maybe a glass of wine or some smoke or weed or whatever you enjoy, and then come outside. I wear a robe, come out here, I open up my jacuzzi. Only, I only open it halfway because that's all I need. And then you come out here, I have my music ready to go, put my earbuds in. I usually listen to instrumental, like meditation type music, something that's not going to distract me from what I'm doing out here. Then come out here and pop in. Now one of the things I make sure I do, I don't usually wear clothes either when I come out here, but yeah. One of the things I do is I just come in here and sink into this thing. It's dark. I don't turn the jets on. I have my music going. I step back and I just let myself float and either have the music on or not. Um, the, the jets distract from the, the quietness of it and you just sit out here and meditate and float. And, yet, and another important key thing is the temperature. I usually keep mine at 103. If you keep it at 103, you can be out here for you know, an hour and not be too hot. 104 is too hot. 102 is like a little bit not warm enough kind of a thing. But yeah, it's the music. It's it's the darkness. Another key thing is to keep your eyes closed. You have your eye clo eyes closed. And you just float out here. someone else it doesn't work as well you need to be by yourself oh another little tip is to bring a little towel with you and I usually have it sitting here um, because of the why the water is if you touch your face it's gonna make your face itch and it's gonna break the trance that you're trying to get into so um, I'll wear I'll wear I'll bring a towel and if my face itches I'll dry my face with a towel rather than with my wet hand because then what happens is the water will begin to like trickle on your face and make you have to touch your face and what you want to do is not have to do that um, you can modulate the heat a little bit by leaving your hands out of the water if you get too hot but put the plate by ear on that uh, what else um, if it's raining which I'll come out here in the rain too I'll just wear a build hat like this and then the rain doesn't hit your face and then the rain is fine out here. Today it's snowing, which is unusual. We don't get a lot of snow in Oregon, but it's quite beautiful. So anyway, that's my tips on how to use a jacuzzi by yourself, what I do and what I've really enjoyed. So I'll see ya.